Hey there, it's Bree, and I have a super exciting announcement for you. As you may have seen either on my Instagram or Jen or Crystal's channel, I am hosting this round of the Romance Takeover Readathon. I believe this is the second or third one that we've done. It was started by Jen from The Book Refuge, who is the one who kind of put this all together, and she asked me if I would host it with her, and I said absolutely. We're also hosting with two other booktubers that I absolutely love, two of my favorite booktubers, Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life and Riley from Riley Murray, and of course, you all know I love Jen. I feel like I talk about Jen in almost every single one of my videos but I am very excited about this readathon. It's one of my favorite readathons because as a romance reader, it's one of the easiest ones to participate in. And if you watch my last video where I was talking about how to start a booktube channel, one of the things I mentioned about like getting involved in the community and making friends and getting more views on your videos was to participate in a readathon. And I feel like, especially if you're a romance booktuber, this is a great way to get started. This is a great readathon to do because it's so easy and it's just a weekend readathon. So it's not a huge commitment and it's just about reading romance. It's not super strict. It's going to be fun because we're going to have several live shows throughout the weekend and then there's also going to be a giveaway where I am giving away some stickers from my shop. All I have to do is complete a bingo board which let me tell you is not hard because it's a build your own bingo board which is a concept that Jen came up with and I thought that it was amazing. So we have a list of prompts that you can choose from and you can build your own bingo board in that way or you can be like me and just to be a mood reader and just read romance all week weekend. My main goal for that weekend is just going to be to read as many romances as possible. So I'm focusing on shorter novels and I will talk about my TBR in a little bit, but let's talk more about this readathon. Let me give you all of the details, which will also be listed down below. I also have a highlight on my Instagram. If you're not already following me, you should. I have a highlight saved on my Instagram with all of the templates and everything you'll need to participate on Instagram. The Romance Takeover Readathon takes place from January 14th through January 17th. Like I said it's hosted by Jen from The Book Refuge, Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life, and Riley from Riley Marie, and of course me. It's a build your own bingo board. There are templates and prompts available on Instagram. I have them in my highlights, like I said. Let's first talk about all of the different prompts. There are prompts and there are action items that you can add to your bingo board, which makes this super easy and super easy to get bingo. The first one is to follow the hosts. So anyone I just listed, just make sure you're following us, either subscribe to us on YouTube or following us on Instagram. Attend a reading sprint or a live show, which hopefully will be fairly easy because not only do we have reading sprints and live shows throughout the entire readathon, Thon, but also they're at different times. So some are in the morning, some are in the afternoon, some are in the evening. Buddy read with someone, another fairly easy one. And actually my members and I were buddy reading together for this readathon. So that's going to be super fun. Thank you to my member, Jenny, who put that together. Read a host recommendation. I have so many recommendations that you can choose from in my recommendation videos. Read a book that you think is a five-star prediction. Read a book that's over 400 pages. This is one that I probably won't be doing only because it's a weekend readathon and I like to try and read as much as possible, but I feel like that's a little bit easier if you do an audiobook or if you're just a fast reader. Or you could just do that one and that can be you participating in the readathon. It totally works. That's the beautiful thing about this. You can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. The only rule is that you have to read romance. Another prompt is to read a weird romance. I have a rec video recommending all of my favorite weird romances. I'll link that down below. You can read a taboo romance. I believe I have a video of taboo romances that I recommend. Read a mafia romance. I know Jen from the Book Refuge has a lot of mafia romance recommendations. I'll try and find her video. She may have several videos actually. <laughs> Read a small town romance. Read a brother's best friend romance. Read a romance by an author of color. Read a romance that has a disabled main character. Read a new release. A romance you didn't get to in 2021. Read a military romance, an LGBTQIA plus romance, a historical romance, an author you've never read before, a second chance romance, an age gap romance, a tortured hero romance, read a book all in one sitting, and read an audiobook. And those are all of the prompts that you can choose from. Jen made two different bingo boards. There's one that's four by four and one that's three by three, just depending on how many books you think you can read over the weekend. So the kickoff live show is going to be over on Jen's channel, and that will be at six o'clock p.m. Central time. And I will be having a reading sprint on my channel on Saturday, January 15th at 9 a.m. Central Time. And then on Sunday, January 16th at 1 p.m. Central Time, it will be on Riley's channel. And then Monday, the last day of the readathon, January 17th, it will wrap up at 1 p.m. Central Time on Crystal's channel. 
So uh, again, I will list all that information down below so you can check it out and remember it. And with that being said, let's talk about the books that I am planning to read that weekend. So the first book that I'm planning to read is actually going to be the quote unquote longest book that I'm reading that weekend. I believe it's going to be the longest book, but it's only a seven hour audio. And it's a book that I actually started and put down because another book came out and then I kind of forgot about it. But it's a book that actually Jen from the book Refuge talked about. So I'm sure I could use that as a prompt. And it's A Wilderness Within by Emma Castle. This is actually a pandemic romance, but it was written in 2019. And I know I've heard Jess from Peace Love Books talk about it. And then Jen also is the first one that I actually heard talk about it. And both of them really liked it. So I'm very intrigued by it because I do really like Emma Castle. Another book that I'm planning on reading, I'm so, so excited about because it's a new release and it was dropped like kind of unexpectedly a couple of days ago. And it's Desires Darkly, The Camper by Jack Harbin. This one is only 59 pages. To be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure if this is a romance or if it's just a erotica but this is a very dark romance by Jack Harbin and I swear Jack Harbin writes the gamut he can write anything and I think this is going to be kind of stabby which I'm really really excited about that's all I really know about it is that's supposed to be super super dark and it's written by an author that I love so I'm very excited to read it and then another book I'm going to read is actually a series that I keep forgetting about. I've only read like the first three books in the series. So I'm finally going to pick up book three in the Edge series and it's Broken Edge by C.D. Reese. I love this series. It's a military romance. It's very, very, very dark, very taboo, but so, so good. I am so like... I don't know how I was able to put this down. I think maybe I just needed a little bit of a break from it because it is pretty intense, but then I just kept forgetting about it. And then I was reminded about it recently because I happened to like, I was browsing my bookshelf to see if there were any shorter books that I wanted to read on my bookshelf. And this one's fairly short. I think it's 240 pages if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I need to finish the series. So that's gonna be probably one of my biggest goals is to finish this series during that readathon. And then another book I'm planning to read is Big Boss by Cassie Mint. I can't fully remember. Somebody recommended this in my comments and this one is only 60 pages long and it's a big boy romance. That is what uh, Jessica Kane calls them is big boy romances. I don't know what else to call them. Plus size hero, whatever the case may be. I am into it. Obviously it's a workplace romance, but it's a big boy romance and we need more of those in our lives. So very excited to read that one. It's nice and short. Another one is by an author who I really love supporting and who I want to read more of their books and that is Evie Mitchell. I'm reading Thunder Thighs. This one's only 96 pages long, has it obviously plus size rep in it. And Evie Mitchell, if I remember correctly, has Crohn's disease. And she is very much an advocate for disability representation in books. And I just, I absolutely love Evie just as a person. So definitely want to read more by that author. I felt like this was a really good reason to pick up one of her books. And then last but not least is the buddy read that I believe we're doing for my members. And that is The One Night by Megan Quinn. This one is on Kindle Unlimited, read and listen. And it's only two hours long. I don't know anything about this one. All I know is that it's Megan Quinn and I love Megan Quinn. I discovered her because my dad loves Megan Quinn. So I'm excited to read this one with my members if that's the one we end up choosing and it looks like it will be. So those are all the books that I'm planning on reading. Hopefully I will get through all of those and if I get through more, I will. But if you are planning on participating, please let me know down below. Also, don't forget to tag me in any YouTube videos that you make that correspond with the readathon. Tag me on Instagram. I wanna see everything that you're reading and how you're enjoying this readathon. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy reading. Thank you.